Class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? We have the Living Dead prize wall break down. So welcome to class. Let's bro. First off, as always, this is 100% dependent on your roster and your needs. All of our needs are a little bit different, but I'm just going to give you a sense of what is valuable on here and what is not, and then sort of what order. Uh, so first off, as I'm sure you've noticed this weekend, prize wall medallions themselves are in short supply. Um, so unless you are planning on spending, it's going to be difficult to get above 6,000. Um, it's going to be difficult to get anywhere near sort of the 35,000 for something like the Hitman's skill plate uh, armor. That being said, the number one thing really on this prize wall, um, besides Liv Morgan, so for the bro, 1A, um, is actually getting the shards that you need. If you are within striking distance and you have enough medallions to get Liv Morgan, zombie Liv, that is, um, then that's where you should probably spend them. Um, if you do have 49,000 medallions, you probably already have pulled Liv Morgan. But if you want that fuse, if you like that six-star bronze fuse, then that would be another place uh, to spend that. That's sort of the 1A. But in reality, the the highlight of, of such a prize wall is actually this right here. You know how much I love plates. Here are the plates that... Um, for the most part, aren't offered as often as other plates. So it's four plates that have been relatively rarer as of late. Um, if you do get live, or if you are planning to get live in some fashion, you have enough left over, this will make zombie live amazing. The Hitman's Battle Armor skill plate. Remember that if you create eight or more botch gems, you will deplete four MP from your opponent's moves. That's going to render them... Uh, defenseless basically and you will be able to defeat them rather easily on top of that there's um it's entirely up to you but i would rank it at least for myself i would rank it uso cap over the bulldogs bracer over the chains of colossus skill plate but again all three of these have also been rare so really the one b of all of this after the shards in case you can try to get yourself Liv morgan uh, is getting yourself one of these plates. After that, it feels like everything's sort of out of whack at that point um, because you could get up to 25,000 strap parts, which isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things. Um, you could also get 20,000 moment coins, which is also not a lot in the grand scheme of things. So if you do find yourself with multiple thousands uh, left, it's really going to depend on what you need. Um, I would, before you take any of these token bundles, I would take a plate first, especially because in each one, they really only have one six-star silver token. Unless that's absolutely what you need to get to the next level, I think you're better off spending those on extra plates. Um... So after you spend on plates, you can go for the token bundles. Um, you could go for fighters loot coins and you can have a chance at a bunch of shards. It's an entirely shard loot. And so you can go for the shards in that loot as well too. And last but not least would be getting yourself some coins because that's all that's really left here is coin and TP bundles. So... It doesn't seem like really beyond getting yourself a plate, which are relatively cost effective in this sense and very, very much useful, uh, or getting yourself the shards for live. It doesn't seem to be that expansive of a prize wall. It's a matter of basically using up the remainder of your coin on low prize currency. Thanks for checking out, and thank you for coming to class today. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you get. Put it in the comments. Appreciate you being here. Bro-fessor out.